हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ सचिन अर्जुन गुरुळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम के टी एच एम कॉलेज नाशिक इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ द एंटामोलॉजी फर्स्ट वी हॅव सीन द इंटर रिलेशनशिप ऑफ द इन्सेक्ट्स विथ द अदर अर्थोपोर्ट्स अँड इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस दॅट इज ओरिजिन अँड डिस्ट्रीब्युशन ऑफ द इन्सेक्ट्स लेट्स सी द ओरिजिन ऑफ इन्सेक्ट dates back about 350 million years ago presumably in a lower devonian period and on the basis of our understanding of arthropod morphology the myriapods are appears to be closely related to the group known as the insects now of the myriapods the symphyla shares a more characteristic features in common with the primitive insect and it is said that both myrapods and the insects they arose from the common stock of or the myrapod like ancestors the evidences of this can be seen in fact that the first instar of many diploid myrapods shows a many features which are exactly common to the insects or with the insects for example the head they are provided with a six segment here in this diagram you can see this is the generalized body plan of the insect head composed of total six segment then three are the thoracic segment and remaining are the abdominal segment and this diagram is representing the generalized plan for the myrapods here you can see the head of the myrapods is also made up of the six segment as like that of the insect head then the remaining segments are belongs to the trunk segment then thorax of the insect is generally provided with a three segmented pair of the legs which is also seen into the early embryonic uh, stages of this uh, myrapods so these legs can be well evident on the first three trunk segment that is t1 t2 t3 these are the <coughs> trunk segments then abdomen of about five segments without any appendages in the insects it is well known that the appendages are completely lost from the abdomen except in some of pterygoid insect which is known as the vestigial legs such a kind of the nature is also found into the early stages of the myrapods now further the fact that among the up pterygota leg like appendages which are present on the abdominal segment and that are the columbella have a shorter abdomen of the six segment is also the significant one so these are the characteristic we can say these are the common among the myrapods and the insects again the presence of a pair of antennae with a variable number of the segments and each of these segments are supplied with the muscles is a feature which is common to all myrapods and this character is also found into the antennae of some primitive insects belongs to the diplura and the columbella also of the importance are the similarity of the malpighian tubules and the tracheal tubes and the fact that whatever ichthyosis that occurs through a transverse slit on the hind border of the head in case of myrapods and other insects like that of the protura and the columbella so these are the common characteristics we shares in between the myrapods and the insects so hence we can say the myrapods this is the group which is much closer to that of the insects looking at the closeness of the symphylids to the insects we found that the inverted y shaped epicranial suture or the epicranial suture is also referred as the ichthyosial suture is a common to many symphyla as well as the insects here in this diagram you can say so this is a inverted y shape the epicranial suture this epicranial suture is well evident in many insects and this is again a 
one of the common feature belongs to the symphyla the structure of post mandibular appendages are similar similar as also the nature of hypopharynx in this group so hypopharynx is also similar in case of both the symphylids and the few insects the presence of styles irreversible sac they are common to the symphyla and such a kind of the irreversible sac they are also well evident into the diplura and the terminal cerci of the symphyla appears correspond to uh, those of the insects so further the development of the symphyla shows that they have also a trunk segment which is contributed by total 14 segments as in insects so if you see the number of insect uh, number of segments belongs to the insect body plan if we add the three thoracic segment with that of the 11 abdominal segment again their number of segment is 14 and same kind of the situation that is 14 segment within a trunk is also represented into the symphyla group so in spite of all these common traits the symphylids are the progonids progonid in the sense with their reproductive system opening at the anterior end however a single gelus polyxenella belongs to the symphyla is exist which is actually a true symphylid is an ophistogoniate showing the ophistogoniate condition and hence approaches the insects because the many of the insects the generality is the they are ophistogoniate that is their genital opening is usually present at the posterior part of the trunk or say abdominal segments now all the same the present trend is thinking towards the maintaining that the myrapods notably the symphylids stand closest to the insects and many myrapods have a peculiar hexapod larva which suggesting the origin of insect from the myrapod like ancestors by the process of neoteny that is the neoteny is the process where young ones they are showing the sexual precocity so by this hypothesis it is believed that maybe the larval stages of some myrapods by the process of neoteny they become some insects so this is the well known understand the origin of insect from the myrapod like ancestors that is particularly the symphylids so beside this there are several other theories also put forth about the origin of insects and one of the theory is hendrich tyrobiate theory of the insect origin now the hendrich tyrobiate theory it suggests that insects they have developed from a marine ancestors and that marine ancestor is referred as the trilobites the wings of the insects according to this theory would be homologous to the paranotal lobes that is the broad lateral expansions of the sides or segments of the trilobites so these are the paranotal lobes so according to this theory the wing of the insect belongs to the pterygota they are homologous to that of the paranotal lobes of the trilobite and the trilobite also have as in insect a single pair of antennae here you can say uh, see the single pair of antennae is also there then it also contains a compound eyes and the three ocelli one median and two two lateral ocelli so this theory has no standing today because it would mean that if we assume this theory the winged insect they are arose earlier than that of the opterygoid insect and which is probably not the true thing because the opterygoid insect they are showing a most primitive characteristic features which is close to the earlier group and then after by evolving a specialized character the opterygoid insect they are converted into the pterygota but if you assume this theory according to this theory the pterygoid insects are arose first and then after opterygoid insects are developed and due to this drawback this theory actually has no standing or rejected 
the origin of the insect from this uh, from the trilobites now another theories of the marine origin of the insects were those which is proposed by the hamson who proposed their origin from the crustacean group this crustacean group is known as the syncardia then of the crompton who advocated that the insects are originated from the crustacean groups which is referred as the isopods but again all these theories are no standing nowadays among the these theories the theories which is of the terrestrial origin of the insect a notable one is that of the tiliad so tiliad is given a theory which is based on the terrestrial origin of the insect who believe that both myriapods and the insects have descended from a common hypothetical answer ancestor which he called as the protoptera means a protoptera is a common hypothetical ancestor which is asked by the tiliad it gives out into the uh, two branches so this protoptera broke into the two lines which is going to form the ophistogoneata and progoneata progoneata are those which having a genital opening into the proximal trunk segment while ophistogoneata are the organism which have a genital opening at the posterior part of their trunk segment then this ophistogoneata again splits into the two branches that is chilopoda and the insecta and from the insectan branch the there was a very early branching of the columbella and protura so in this way this protura and the columbella these are the members of a pterygoid insect so they have evolved first and then insects are arises according to this theory so this <coughs> the stem then divided into again entrotropic diplura and ectotropic thysanura from which arose the pterygoid insects okay so entrotropic diplura in the sense the mouth parts which are withdrawn into the uh, oral cavity which is a characteristic can be found into the diplura and ectotropic in the sense in case of thysanura the ecto, uh, the mouth parts they are lies outside the mouth cavity that is thysanura and from this thysanura arises a well developed pterygoid insect nowadays so this is about the uh, theory which is given by the tiliad who believing in the terrestrial origin of the insects so by discussing all these theories we can say the myriapods are seems to be a closest group of the insect and probably the symphyla shares a more characteristic features and they have developed from obviously the myriapod like ancestors which is referred as the protoptera so this is about the origin of the insects the next one is the distribution of insects now insects enjoy a wide distribution from equator to the polar region on the planet earth they are also found into the snowy mountains of the himalayas they are also present deep beneath the soil having a subterranean habit they also known to found into the deserts very hot deserts then they are also found into the hot spring petroleum the uh, few of the insects they are also inhabiting here near the crude oil many of the insects they are living into the fresh water and very very few they are known from to the sea water so this wide distribution is correlated extremely favorable conditions so they are said to be able to withstand a condition as low lower than minus 46 degree centigrade and they have a great migratory powers and due to having this great migratory power may be actively migrating or passively migrating they are distributed all over the world it goes without saying that insects are found more in tropical countries or tropical region than in the other areas of the world 
this is probably because of the amount of sunshine and consequent good vegeta vegetation is constant feature of the tropical region than that of the other parts of the world so distribution is brought about by the migration and in many cases air currents are responsible for this migration or man himself with his craze for the expansion of the trade the world over the spread both beneficial as well as harmful insect from one place to another and this is one of the probable reason that's why insect has such a huge distribution on the planet earth so this is about a small topic that is distribution of the insects then phylogeny of insects a phylogeny is the study of evolutionary relationship among the group of organisms <clears throat> which is discovered through the evidences such as the molecular sequencing and the morphology so these are the usually tools which is used for learning or for studying the phylogeny the insects are highly diverse worldwide group and they have actually a very complex evolutionary history the evolutionary relationship of the insects to the other animal group is still remains unclear or it is not completely known yet although more traditionally they are groups with the millipedes centipedes and the evident emerging flavoring closer evolutionary ties with that of the crustacean groups again in case of the pan crustacean theory the insects together with the remipedia and the malacostraca they have make a natural clad where the insects along with these crustaceans they are or the malacostraca they are put into the single taxon the other terrestrial arthropods such as centipedes millipedes scorpion and the spiders are sometimes are confused with the insects since their body plan can appear similar sharing a jointed exoskeleton however upon a closer examination their feature differs significantly most notably they do not have a six legs which is a characteristic feature of the adult insects so the insects are easily can be distinguished from that of the centipedes millipedes scorpions and the spider being they are having a typical hexapod condition which is lacking in the other groups the higher level phylogeny of arthropod continue uh, <coughs> continue to be the matter of debate and the research in 2008 the researchers from the tuft university uncovered what they are believing in the world's oldest known full body impression of the primitive flying insect a 300 million years old specimen from the carboniferous period so they have revealed uh, the presence of the insect into the carboniferous period uh, which is <clears throat> having the age about 300 million years ago the oldest definitive insect fossil is found into the devonian period and the name of that fossil is rhinognatha hirsutii from the 396 million years old which is considered as the oldest insect fossil so it may have superficially resembles a modern day silver fish like insects and this species already possesses a dicondylic mandibles dicondylic mandibles in the sense if there are two articulation sites which are present for the mandible with that of attaching with the head capsule such a condition is referred as a dicondylic mandible and whatever the fossil which is found in that ages they are already showing a presence of dicondylic mandibles this feature associated with actually the winged insect and from this suggesting that wings may already have evolved at this time means definitely insects are or the pterygoid insects are much arises much earlier than that of this uh, fossil which is recorded which having a such a kind of the characteristic features so thus 
the first insects probably appear earlier in a silurian period now there are uh, have been a total four super radiations of the insects that arise on the planet earth the first super radiation is belongs to the beetles and that super radiation is happens around 300 million years ago then su second super radiation that happens with the flies and it is having the <coughs> age of 250 million years ago and the third and fourth actually this super radiation as happens near about together which is concerned with the moths and the wasps and both these super radiation can known to occur before 150 million years ago now this four group of group of insects accounts for majority of the described species of the insect on the planet earth the flies and moths along with the fleas they have evolved from the mecoptera and the origin of the insect flight limb uh, remains obscure since the earliest winged insect currently known appear to have been capable of the flies now this is a one of the hypothesis there the apterygot insect to protect themselves from the other predator they climb up in on the height either on the rocks or either on the trees and they generally tries to jump in sort of the protection and try to glide on the air so this continuous practicing the gliding on the air for protecting themselves it is believed that these insects may have arised or evolved the wings for the purpose of protection and this is the way by which the pterygot insects may be arose now some extinct insect had an additional pair of winglets attaching to the first <coughs> segment of the thorax that is prothorax for the total of the three pairs means the primitive flying insect they contains a pair of wings present on each thoracic segment which is not seen in a, in a pterygot insect nowadays as the prothoracic wings are completely lacking and whatever wings are present that are restricted to the mesothorax and metathorax only so late carboni uh, carboniferous and early permian uh, permian insect order includes both extant group and the number of paleozoic species now they are becomes already extinct so during this era some giant dragonfly like forms reached wingspan of about 55 to 70 cm making them far larger than any living insect which is present on the planet earth nowadays and this gigantism may have been uh, may have been due to the higher atmospheric oxygen level that allow the increased respiratory efficiency related to the today's insect another reason probable reason the lack of flying vertebrates could have been another factor because there is no competition into the air with that of the insect at that ages and this is the reason for such a kind of the gigantism can be found into the wing form of the insect in a earlier period most extinct order of the insect developed during the permian period which begins around 270 million years ago and many of the earlier group became a extinct during the permian triassic extinction event which is a large mass extinction phenomenon which is happen in the history of the earth now around the 252 million years ago <clears throat> that mass extinction is happen in that mass extinction many of the insects are becomes already extinct the remarkable successful hymenopteran insects they appears as long as 146 million years ago in the cretaceous period but these hymenopteran specially achieved their wide diversity most recently into the cenozoic era which begins in 66 million years ago 
a number of highly successful insect group evolved in a conjunction with the flowering plant which shows a great example or the illustration so called as the coevolution means many species of the hymenoptera or the diversification of the hymenopteran species it generally occurs with the diversification of the flowering plant or the angiospermic plant and hence the hymenoptera and the flowering plants or the angiosperm they are showing a good example of coevolution that is they have evolved or increase their diversity recently in the 66 million years ago so many modern insect genera develops during the cenozoic period the insect from this period are often found preserved in a amber often in a perfect condition so we can easily able to study the fossil of such a kind of the insects the body plan or the morphology of such a specimens is thus easily compared with that of the modern species of the insects which are exist today so this is about the phylogeny so if you like this video don't forget to like share and please subscribe my channel to see the further videos thank you thank you very much